So this is a house that me and my wife had bought a while back and we were doing some renos on it but we were running out of time to have all the renos done before we actually moved in. So my wife asked me if I could make some uh, countertops just out of some simple plywood just so that we could use the kitchen while we were doing all the renos and stuff. And plywood is kind of boring and I like to make stuff that's a little more interesting. So I decided, yeah, I could use plywood, but I'm going to make them kick ass. Uh, basically, I just drew up a pattern on them and then went to town with making it look like a live edge sort of look with a river table. Um, I was just going for a live edge look, basically uh, taking some two sides of nice birch plywood. I chose some that I thought had a nice uh, variance in the grain and different anomalies and stuff that I thought would work with what I was going to try to make. Basically I cut the top layer, uh, this is going to be in two layers, so the top layer I made look like a live edge piece. Um, did whatever sort of pattern that I thought looked good following the grain that existed on the plywood. After I finished uh, doing the top layer, I laid it out and then I got working on the bottom layer, which basically was just more of the same plywood, just cut in uh, slightly larger pieces and square as well. Uh, I'm doing an apron sink on here, so I had to take in consideration all that as well. After I had it all cut, I basically just hit it with the electric rasp to refine the shape and make it fit on the bottom layer and then sanded it real quick with the orbital. Uh, after I had done all the shaping and stuff with the electric rasp and sander and stuff, I just glued them together and then after gluing them together, I also screwed them and some of the screws poked right through, uh, but that didn't matter. I fixed it later by creating a faux spalting effect that went over top of the screw holes. I like experimenting with different colors, so I basically just mixed up a few different colors of stain, put it on in different layers on the edges to give it a, a cool natural organic look, and then I torched it all to kind of uh, give it another element of color. I then took my lightest color of stain, mixed it with some poly, coated the whole surface of the counter space in nice thick straight lines, let that tack up, and then I started rubbing it off. This was supposed to give me an effect of multi-layered grains. I really like it when there's a lot of variance in the grains in wood. Uh, I rubbed it off in certain places so that I could go back again later with some black and then outline it. And then to complement that even more, I used some black acrylic paint and dry brushed it on to give it a, another element of depth and character. I then torched it again with the poly on it to make some of the poly pop up and get, add more texture. All the bubbles and stuff kind of gave it another uh, layer of what I thought looked more organic. I really like characteristic wood and I think this kind of accomplished some of that. What I'm using here is basically a self-leveling underlay for flooring. I made it up in several small batches with different consistencies of water. Uh, I really like it when the swirls are allowed into pieces like this, sort of similar to what you would do with epoxy resin. This is a different material, but the principles are the same. Then I sanded it somewhat smooth. This stuff wasn't, I've never worked with it before, and it wasn't exactly the easiest, but uh, it turned out pretty cool. After that, I basically just wiped it off and washed the counter several times until uh, the water basically came out clean. And here you can see the screw holes, basically remedying that right now with uh, some touch-ups and uh, I'm doing some false spalting on there. I think it looks really cool just filling uh, some Dremel holes with uh, black paint. And then uh, I also used some pens to make some smaller lines and stuff. And then I polyed it again several times, sanding in between each coat so it would be smooth. This is not going to be the most durable countertop but this is supposed to be temporary just for now. My wife actually ended up liking it though so we may actually come up with a way to make it better if I do it again. Um, this was just kind of thrown together quickly because we were moving in uh, in the next couple days. 
you can kind of see here where I rubbed off some of the polystain mix where it's really light and then I outlined it with paint or black pen and Dremel marks and all sorts of things like that. I think it turned out really neat. Right here I, <laughs> I put in a little fish fossil sort of thing. I really like fossils and stuff so I kind of put in something for me. I really like how the different colors work together. It looks a lot better in person but it turned out pretty good. I may even offer this to clients if I uh, can figure out a way to make it a little more durable because it is still prone to scratches. Maybe with an epoxy resin or something like that. Well, thanks for following along. If you could, just please subscribe and you can also follow me over on Ushitat on Instagram. That's at U-S-I-H-T-A-T. -T. All right, thanks for watching.